Sickle cell disease is a inherited blood disorder of the red blood cells. Red blood cells should be shaped like a donut with the middle filled in, which allows them to flow smoothly through the blood vessels um, without any problems. In sickle cell disease, the red blood cells become misshapen and they become a crescent or a C-shape or maybe like a very pointy banana. And these don't flow very well through the blood vessels and then they can get stuck to each other and then their blood flow doesn't get to the organ um, past that blood vessel and that causes the complications of sickle cell disease. Sickle red cells have their ab abnormal shape, they damage blood vessels. And since blood vessels go pretty much everywhere in the body, sickle cell disease can affect every organ, every organ system. We do see a pattern of early and later complications in sickle cell disease. Some of the earliest things we see are problems with the immune system and a high risk of stroke in young children with sickle cell disease. As children get older, we start seeing problems like lung, lung problems, um, pain crises, kidney problems. And in early and middle adult adulthood, we see problems with the lungs, with the heart, with the kidneys. In the United States, it's estimated that there are between 70,000 and 100,000 patients with sickle cell disease, spread all through the U.S., but predominantly in um, the southeastern states. About one in 500 people of African-American origin um, are born with sickle cell disease, so it's by far the most common in that um, racial group. But it's also fairly common in people of Hispanic origin. In the United States, sickle cell disease is diagnosed via the newborn screen. So this is the blood testing that's done on uh, newly born babies before they leave the hospital. In the state of Texas, we actually have two tests. We do one right before the baby leaves the hospital, but then the pediatrician also does a second test about a week after they're born. So sickle cell disease is an inherited blood disorder, which means it's something that's passed down from parents that they inherit at birth. And Early in life, by far the most significant complication is a high risk of infection because sickle cell patients have an abnormal spleen. And so the first thing we do in our patients with sickle cell disease is start them on antibiotic prophylaxis to prevent these early infections. All children with sickle cell disease are started on penicillin early in life, soon after we make the diagnosis, and that continues till age five. Childhood immunizations are also very important at preventing these infections. Later in life, the risk pattern essentially uh, shifts over to other complications. So the, the next big thing we start worrying about as patients get to about two years of age is a high risk of stroke. The main treatment we think about is something called hydroxyurea. It's a medication that can help prevent sickling of blood cells and so can really prevent the main mechanism driving problems in sickle cell disease. And we're offering this now to more and more of our patients to try to prevent long-term complications in sickle cell disease. We have several things to offer our patients um, that make us a, a strong center for sickle cell disease. One is our experience. We take care of a lot of children. Our doctors here see a large number of patients with sickle cell disease. And, and we are specialists in this area. We specifically focus on sickle cell disease in our clinical practice. So we can offer expertise and, and experience that many general pediatricians and even general hematologists could not offer our patients. We also have a lot of experience with new treatments for sickle cell disease with transfusion therapy to prevent strokes, with hydroxyurea to prevent many of the long-term complications from sickle cell disease. And we can also recruit the ex expertise of our colleagues in other areas of pediatric care to, to maximize care for our patients with sickle cell disease. So at the basic level, we have a couple of uh, people who are, have an interest in the genetics of sickle cell disease, looking at specific genetic, genetic variations between people that might affect the risk of stroke, the risk of kidney disease, the risk of other complications that go with sickle cell disease. We also have people looking at the mechanisms of response to blood transfusion and, and how people with sickle cell disease would respond to that. At the more clinical level, we take part in a number of studies sponsored by drug companies looking at new treatments for sickle cell disease, both to prevent early complications and to treat specific complications like kidney disease and uh, pain crises. Parents who are interested in contacting our center can call our clinic at 832-822-4362 
or for additional information on the web, they can go to our website, which is txch.org slash sickle-cell-program.